So now that Spider-Man has finally returned to Marvel and Captain America Civil War is only a week away, it's time to talk about the last time Spider-Man was truly amazing in the video game world. Spider-Man The Game, developed by Activision and Neversoft Studios, also featuring the voice talents of most of the original animated series cast, as well as Rina Romano in the title role of Peter Parker and Spider-Man, who was previously in Spider-Man Unlimited. So Spider-Man is set when Dr. Otto Octavius, now reformed, is given a presentation on a new piece of technology at a science expo, while Peter Parker is in the audience. But then things take an interesting turn when we see Spider-Man go on stage and proceed to steal the technology, at which Eddie Brock sees this and turns back into Venom and vows to take down Spider-Man by any means necessary. But then things take an interesting turn when we see Spider-Man go on stage and proceed to steal the technology, at which Eddie Brock sees this and turns back into Venom and vows to take down Spider-Man by any means necessary. All the while, the police believe it's actually him and then proceed to try and apprehend Spider-Man. So we find it's a race for Spider-Man to clear his name, find out who the real culprit is and save the city. Basically a typical day for your friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man. Now with this game you really get a feel of what it's like to be Spider-Man and you do start off very simple with Black Cat giving you simple instructions on how certain controls work and how certain things are done in the game. And also as you delve deeper into the game you really get some great cameos from other Marvel heroes. Also the villains are used extremely well and do fit the story that it's trying to tell. Talking of the villains, the boss battles do have a nice balance between Easy, strategical, but and some are just downright impossible. Particularly the final boss battle, who if he catches up with you, you may feel like you really want to strangle someone. And trust me, that has happened many times to me, and those of you who have already played this will know exactly which moment I'm talking about. The graphics were also pretty impressive for the time, even including Black Cat's big fat ass. But the only annoying thing here is, and the only gripe I have, is that you can't move the camera manually. You have to actually wait for it to catch up with you. Also, the voice work here is just absolutely sensational, as it does reunite a lot of the cast from the original 90s animated show, as well as the Spider-Man from Spider-Man Unlimited, as I already stated. And he seems to really get how you are supposed to portray this character, with all the quippy dialogue and little nuances here and there. And he does a really good job overall as well as carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders to achieve his mission. Also, there's some really good platforming here, as you have to really be careful about how you time your web swinging and wall crawling. But the best part about this game, in my opinion, is the fact it's narrated by the man himself, Mr. Stanley. So my final verdict is nothing else but a 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching this guys, now it's over to you so feel free to comment below and tell me what your thoughts are on the original Spider-Man game for the PlayStation 1. And if you do like my videos feel free to click here to see more and subscribe as I do make new ones as often as I can. And as always guys I shall see you all on the next one and take care.